No. What's up, Rod? What's going on? Man, bro, I'm such a huge fan of your podcast. Bro. I'm such a huge, huge, huge fan of Comedian CP. I have been peddling your headshot all <laughs> through this town. Hey, man, I'm I constantly that. like, you know what? This show needs a, a CP type. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I've been trying to sell me. Th- yeah, That's CP so can play my best friend. Yeah, I have, yeah, your, I have no. your headshot, too. And I tell he people I'm you. He can get CP. We love CP. <laughs> We love CP. Man. That's what they say. Man. And they come can on. get me. I'd be at the crib, man. Nobody's trying to get I, me. Nah, that's not true. They can get me. That's not true. Tell them they can get me. Get them on the phone they right now. Tell them I'm here you. right now. We, Tell can't, them. we can't promote anything right now, if but they, you're on the things and in the things. If they bring a steak and cheese up here right now, I will sign the contract saying that they have me for my exclusivity for 112 weeks. Wow. And I'll just, I'll just That's a that lot of there. weeks. Well, that's two years and two weeks. I figured out that last two weeks is just enough for them to be able to get the next Give guy. you up two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two full years and then give me my two weeks. Mm-hmm. We got comedian CP in the building from the city of Detroit. So this he is- had to play the battle for Detroit. I'm not going to lie, this music embarrasses me because it makes my blackness uncontrollably <laughs> have to pop lock. I could be anywhere. They'd be like, why well, I see pop lock? And I'd be like, no, I don't hear this. <laughs> this is the battle song, the battle between the Four Tops and the Temptations. Did you know they battled? Yes, I did. In the 80s? <laughs> yes, I did. And this is one of the first and worst verses. This is why verses didn't come back until the pandemic. <laughs> We've been having the four tops and temptations on our hands. Them niggas were so coked up, they didn't know who was in who group. They were like, oh, oh, just get over here. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was one of the. <laughs> Can't tempt the tops. Can't, can't temp- top the temps. Mm. <laughs> can't tempt the tops. Can't top the temps. Here go the thing. You might not be able to tempt the tops, but you could definitely tempt the temps. You just put a couple <laughs> lines of drugs and bad decisions out, and they'd be like, ah, I don't know. It's looking. Ah. They're trying to tempt the temps. <laughs> ah, man, I feel them. God yeah. damn it. Um. CP, so happy to have you here, man. Uh, <laughs> what? No, nothing. <laughs> Just tracking my sandwich. Go ahead. I feel you. Yeah, yeah. No, you're tracking your sandwich. It's on the way. The food is on the way. The food is on I the way. I see you got man. your Michigan State stuff on. Yeah, they need me. Yeah? Yeah, they need me. The football team's bad this year. I figured, like... Let me dust my old sweatshirt off I used to wear when we were winning. <laughs> <laughs> they just had a, a, a decent year, I feel like, recently. Yeah, we had a – well, here's the thing. Every eight years or so, we get really good just so people don't forget us. Okay. And then all those guys go to the NFL, and then we become um, beatable again. Got you. And that's what happens. Legit basketball team. Well, legit basketball coach, and then – you know, he's coaching from the days of Red Auerbach. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I love Coach Izzo, but, you know, I've had some problems with him over the years as a fan. Uh, okay. A serious fan. I'm not going to lie to you. I had a chance to meet him in person, and uh, I didn't say none of that shit to him. I, no. Uh, not at all. I was like, <laughs> happy to meet you. Oh, my God. I can't it. <laughs> Got in my car like, fuck, why didn't you say the thing? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you tell him to start the You know, it's like mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, but I look at like, you know, man, Jaron Jackson Jr. just got defensive player of the year last Come year. On. Shout out to him. He went to he went to Michigan State. Uh the last half of his last game at Michigan State, Coach Izzo sat him because he couldn't stay out of foul trouble. Here's the thing, Coach Izzo. If I'm top eight players that ever play for your program, go to the league and win defensive player of the year. A la a Draymond Green or, you know, somebody like that. But Jaron Jackson Jr. specifically. Top eight? Top eight from state? I think okay. we could. Let's count it down. I mean, I, I, I know Magic. I mean, you talk about Magic, you talk about Draymond. Yeah. Um, And then who? I mean, you know what I'm saying? I can name some names. In the Denzel. 2000s. Okay. Who, so uh, Mateen, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. But I'm talking about. Do good in the league. I say Mo Pete did better in the league than Latin did. Okay, okay. So I give you Mo Pete. I give you um Jason Richardson. Okay. I would give you uh Zebo. Okay. Um. 
And then I think Jaron Jackson Jr. is number six. That's a solid list. You thought about it. Yeah. Oh, you no. thought about no, 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 it. No, no, no. I, I was wondering if you just threw eight no, out there no, no, just no, no, to no. be safe. I have or if the there list. was really like yeah. a list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have the list. Um and so impressive. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And that's just uh the ones that I know. I'm yeah. sure that it's probably a couple more. Um, I mean, it's some state legends. You know, Denzel Valentine was a state legend. Okay. Got in the league and did less than what I you know, well, would have hoped, and I understand. Gotcha. Yeah, it's a I still game. only know one Denzel. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he had a dope name, Denzel Valentine. It's like, you know, two mm-hmm. things women like. You yeah, know what I'm saying? they like yeah. Valentine's and they like Denzel. How do you not be great? Right. You probably is the name was probably enough. A lot of pressure. Yeah, a you lot don't. Of you, you know, like the name's really doing it for him. Yeah, you don't have that that pressure to be like, all right, I got to get nice at ball. I'm just saying, a girl tears her mom. She's dating a guy named Denzel Valentine. Automatically, the mother is automatically thinking about um, stepmother porn and how she could get herself <laughs> into the mix. You know, what I'm saying before she even Wait, meets the guy. Wait, do moms watch that? Oh, I mean, I mean, moms make it. I'm not sure if moms <laughs> are watching it, but like the moms are fucking uh, creating the genre for us. Like, yeah, of course. Those, those, you know, they pick women who are mothers to be like, yeah, we, we need to come do this little mom scene. She's like, I'm gonna do it, but I would never. But you would, because you did. But you would never, because you won't. But you did. You did. I like how you said two things, like each way. Two things can be true. Two things can be true. Right. I think mm-hmm. those two things kind of you made it true. Yeah. I don't know how. Two plus two is four, right? Mm-hmm. That's also, something that would last forever more. That's what Snoop Dogg told me. Right. Two plus two is four. Also, it takes two to make a thing go right. That's 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 true. And then you add another two, then it takes two to make it out of sight. So in that regard, oh, two, that was another. That's an additional two. If you pay attention, it takes two to make a thing go right. But it takes two to make it out of sight. Now, it is the, all, the thing going right. Yeah. It's going to take another two to make it out of sight. Now, so you're saying this song is about a foursome? No, yes. And, it, and it's also <laughs> it's also about two plus two equals out of sight. Two plus two equals out of sight. Two plus two equals four. Two things okay. are true. Because it takes two to make a thing go right. So that's one and two. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it takes two. <laughs> yeah. Listen how many years it is. They're asking which girls are cool. Yeah. 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 And I'm gonna tell you what they were talking about. You would love if they were talking about sex, but it wasn't. This was two very magical crackheads. And okay. they and they were making a song. And sometimes back then. You know, if you had a good voice and you could woo the crack dealer, they would sit there and be like, mm, that's take th- two. And he's like, hey, but it takes two to make it out. It's like, ooh, <laughs> I didn't expect that. Take two more. I love I love that they said they just made it up. Like, they didn't have a lot of time in the studio. Oh, really? And that's so the story behind that? so they just, like, freestyle. That's why there's, like, that part where they're like, yo, I got an ego. Go. Yo. Yeah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> like, I thought, I thought, I thought they just, I thought they just didn't know a lot of words back then. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like, I mean, like, I'm not, I'm not trying to be political, but, like, can you imagine a slave's bars? Like, yeah, they just right like, I only know eight words. <laughs> like, damn it. All right, well, can we flip the eight? All I'm saying is, like, he said, I want to rock right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? No, like, I thought he meant nobody, like rock and roll. No, no, but you want to rock and roll for life. You need a rock right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He like, wants a rock. He, he wanna, doesn't need it. It's a well, nobody needs a rock. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's like <laughs> he's be, he, look, he's being nice about it. Okay. He's not robbing you. He's not it's not a robbery. He's like, hey man, I want to rock right now. Not trying to be funny about it. Yeah. I need one. <laughs> I want one. I need two to make a thing go around here. <laughs> if you want, if you want things to go around here, I'm gonna need two. Now, if you want to throw another two on it, God damn it, daddy, make it out of sight. It only works the first day. The second day you come back, you be like, Earl, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be twenty dollars or forty for four. God damn it! I don't want to hear that crafty, nifty shit you do, man. It's the right every time. Told him, it has a print all over it. I don't like t-shirts like that. 
Oh, because you know somewhere t-shirts. they made pajamas and boxers with the leftover stuff. And so if somebody, if some dude walk around with his with his bare ass in your shirt because he has it as underwear, he doesn't he doesn't even know it as a t shirt. Your t shirt knows because it was there at the factory, and it was like you don't even know there are draws of me. There are draws of me. But you I, you wear bait. What they got to do anything? Oh yeah, they I, I make like bait. all over camo. Yeah, but not on my t shirts though. See, yeah. I don't do it on t shirts. Okay. Like, the T-shirt's got to be made out of T-shirt. T-shirt got a little thing on it, say, babe, that's it. I never wear the all over, babe, because you're not going to make no sweat draws. <laughs> Nobody's making no sweat draws. And I mean, and if you are, it's like your ball is going to be little like some raisins because you're just sweating all the juice out of them. It's, you have nothing in it but sperm. It's like, now you bust that nut, you fuck around and die. <laughs> you fuck around and castrate yourself because there was no sweat. The, the juice in there. there are essential vitamins in there? No, but I'm saying, bro, like, can you imagine you bust nut and then that was the last nut? Like, we never know when it's the last nut. That's the thing. Because we don't, it doesn't end. <laughs> oh, it ends. Especially it if, ends? If, if you're wearing sweat drawers and you have depleted your balls of all, because they, because in a minute, they're going to start sweating ball juice. It's not even going to be sweat anymore. It's what? straight ball juice. And so now you have, di- bro, you ever put a fucking grape in a dehydrator? That's where raisins come from. What if they're not, they're still there. They're just weak. Like like they like the minute they exit they like can't they can't make it like they can't swim Pause. like they drown. Pause. You ever lose one of your balls in your stomach when you was a kid playing around? Like, like no. You're like yeah, bro. Like they go up in the hole. You like what the fuck? And then like <laughs> what? you just relax and it'll be like it just fall back down. It's crazy. Bro. I never got that. You can't far. do it as a grown man. I don't know what you had as a kid, but like them balls. No, no. I, I always had the equipment. No, I no, just... no, 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 no. I'm saying like I think I don't know what it is as a kid. I think that the that, that the actual balls are little enough to like slide through your skeleton. I, I, okay, you know what I'm saying? I got you. I don't know if I knew what I had as a kid. That's what I'm finding out right now. Yeah, we didn't have cables. So I spent a lot of time playing with my balls. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, it ain't nothing to do. Wait a minute. I have an idea. I, I was going to ask you what toys you played with as a kid. Man, I played with a lot of action figures, man. Really? Hell I, yeah. I get that you have the imagination man, necessary I for action figures. I needed them. And, I, and, and, and you know what it was? I used to cast my play sessions. And I didn't realize it until I got older. But I was like, yo, I, um, I would tell my mom, like, Look, I'm doing a thing tomorrow. Uh, I need at least two more GI Joes, at least <laughs> <laughs> for background. Yeah, uh, I need I need a Leonardo, um, and if we can't get Leo for whatever reason, I'm gonna need a Donatello. But I need a serious turtle playing off of <laughs> playing off of Mike. They're gonna do a buddy comedy where you know what I'm saying. And so I told my dad, like, cause my dad called me playing with Barbies because mm. because we went to the dollar store and I said give me one of those cuz at the dollar store they have the hollow barbies you you can crush them bitches like a can yeah like when you done oh, with them, you're done oh like, yeah yeah, right? yeah yeah and so I was like I need some of these and my dad was like what the fuck is going on you got something you want to tell me I'm like yeah actually I do like I'm doing a scene today and I just realized I went over my whole inventory and we have no hoes and it's like <laughs> It's just a bunch of turtles and a bunch of niggas and it's nobody. Right. It's, you know what I'm saying? Like, right. And, and, and like, maybe Catwoman, maybe, maybe April I didn't O'Neil, have any April. Maybe, but, I never you know, had an April. I who's never had, giving you that? Man, I need What needed, person is bro. giving yeah. some little boy April O'Neil? Exactly. They only made like seven <laughs> April O'Neils and you had to get them. And so like, no, I had to get some Barbies just, just to be like, because I wanted, for, for one of the scenes, I wanted the, the G.I. Joe to be like, you only acting like that because these bitches is here. And then I wanted, <laughs> <laughs> and I needed Leonardo to be like fuck you and I needed them to go at it because they're teenagers right they're teenagers they're in the teenagers disorder. so you think there's no girls around these, these are teenagers these are teenagers come on man yeah. they, are, they are not 30 year old Ninja Turtles yeah. sick of their wives yeah. they want to be out in the street no these yeah. are teenagers these things are teenagers. 17 they got roommates but they got their own place yeah they should be able to you know be out doing their thing 45 year old Ninja Turtles can you imagine <laughs> when that comes out oh man yeah, yeah. Oh, I threw my shell out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it, oh, shout out to Jersey Mike's. They're not sponsoring this, but I'm sponsoring them today. Okay. You want a piece? It's steak and cheese. Don't, uh, I'm don't good. Shy. Bro, come on. No, man, I'm do good. I got an extra long. Not an extra long, but it's like I got it longer than what it usually is. It's, it's, it's no, more yeah. erect. I feel like you're trying you like to something? get me to eat on the pod to make it okay. 
Oh, it's not okay to eat on the pot. No, I'm not saying that it's not okay. Fine. I eat people on the pot. No, you people can eat on so the pot. People get so mad. Like, oh, you eat on the pot, like bro, because I'm uh, saying this shit. We've had people eat on the pot. We've had people eat like apples and like Doritos and stuff. We never had like a full sandwich, like a full. I'm meal not gonna lie to you. I feel like a pie. sandwich is way softer than a Dorito or an apple. I feel like the crunch from this sandwich. I didn't get any lettuce. Yeah, I'm not rude. No, I like the real. I like the raw. Like I like it. Like. Crazy on my pot, you know. People what I'm drink saying? on podcasts all the time. Like, they forget right. to eat. Sandwich champs. Sam. Oh my god, that's a way better bro, podcast. Bro. You get people in a way better mood on sandwich bro. champs. Nacho champs. Nacho champs. Nacho champs, bro. Yeah, because they're nacho champs, but then they're also nacho champs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, it's also not your champs. All right, ask me anything. This isn't even my sandwich. They, they <laughs> oh me, no, they gave me the wrong thing. There's not even any meat on here. Oh wow, that's the wrong sandwich completely. Do you, do you believe in other universes? Of course. Do you, you think somebody another me ordered this sandwich? Or in another universe you got the right sandwich. Right, but that means that in another universe I got the wrong sandwich because if the right sandwich is here but it's the wrong sandwich from this universe, then that means that in another universe they got the steak and cheese that I ordered. And yeah. they're like they're like what the fuck? Mm. And over there, what the fuck means, call them back, they left my sandwich. Got you. You know what I'm saying? If you say, call them back, you left my sandwich on the phone, they could be like, don't cuss at us. <laughs> Calm down. I'm going to eat this because, but I'm going to cause it. I'm going to get it for free. Go ahead, though. Ask me Okay. Uh, CP, what's your favorite color sky? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Dark and stormy. Dark and stormy. Mm-hmm. Why, why, why the dark and stormy? Oh, thank you. Because here's the thing: hey! it's less people outside. Mm-hmm. The earth can belong to you. Okay. Right. There's no line at like Chick Fil A like that. There's no line at like In and Out like that. It's raining. It's dark and stormy. It's going to be a tornado. Um, it fixes our homeless problem, mm. right? It washes them down the street to an area that's down river. Mm. Keeps our streets beautiful when it rains and there rivers and flows and it washes them down. And if you got a jet ski, you can get on that. <laughs> what? What kind of dis- disaster? Talking about tsunami. That's your favorite color sky? How do you even know that? Seeing pictures. Who's taking a picture of the tsunami? Who's stopping in the middle of the tsunami and being like, all right, I got to get a shot of this? People who are dead. They was on live. <laughs> and they looked up at the sky. And then people got a freeze frame. And then if you look are at you it. you were like, I like that? I like that. It was a <laughs> nice Blue, purple, it has some stars. You know, my thing is, I'm not, I'm not, I don't need a lot. You know what I'm saying? But I tell you yeah. what, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I see a tsunami sky, mm-hmm. you know, that's when you ask, when you ask your girl to marry you. Because if she says no, she gets washed away. <laughs> She's like, why are you asking me this? I'm like, trust me, baby. You want to marry me? She's like, we're not ready. I'm like, fine, bitch, go. And then she's gone. You're gone too, though. It's a tsunami. No, bro. I'm holding on to a stop sign. She didn't even know what was going on. <laughs> She's like, sign. why are you holding on to that stop sign? I'm like, you'll see. <laughs> and then she just, and I'm like, ah, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, you know, if she wants to marry me, I'll, I'll let her grab my foot. <laughs> we, would, uh, we would go out of town a lot, and uh, we would go to my grandparents' house in Kentucky a lot. Mm-hmm. And then I would have to pack my toys and so then I would have to have like like a serious like auditions of like who's going mm-hmm. on the trip, you know? Everybody can't go on the trip. Mm-hmm. Also, you don't want to risk losing everybody. So then it's just like, all right, who's gonna make it? Who's not gonna make it? Mm. Batman, you know. Who so wait. How also many, I how I, many how many spots we got? Is it just how many packs you got? It's a, I had like a little like kid suitcase mm. and I would just put the things that I would need to like be quiet in that. So it was like my parents were packing and it's like, oh, I'm packing too, but I'm really just packing action figures. Mm-hmm. 
I ain't gonna lie. That's that's that right there. You'd be a good stealer. <laughs> You'd be a good stealer because you know how kind of how many objects will fit in the suitcase. You don't be surprised, bro. <laughs> Something you start stealing shit, I'd be like, man, where the fuck is my? <laughs> it's fucking ride, man. He's fucking good. <laughs> He's been a fucking getaway driver since he's a kid. It sounded like you was doing a heist. Like you was like you was robbing yourself. Like, just get whatever you can get. Whatever some shit gotta no, stay. No, it's just like, you know, I can't take up a lot of space. I can't over overdo it. You know so, what I'm saying? Okay, okay. And so stuff happens, stuff gets lost, sometimes stuff gets left. Do you so, get bored? I do get bored. So okay, so you need posable arms and you also need different kinds of genres of toys. So I'm saying about like six G.I. Joe's, four dinosaurs, some Legos. <sighs> Legos. Man. I never Legos never left the house. I never serious? brought Legos anywhere. You didn't bring a cluster to just turn into different things? No. Oh man, I would I would create a small little cluster and then I would be in a car and I ma'am, this cluster is a porch. Oh bam, this cluster is, you know, okay. what I'm uh, upside down porch, a dog can, it's a chicken coop. You make all kind of stuff. I made a stage one time mm. and then I took like like one of those uh the wrestlers had like the um that like metal stuff like the little stand and i put that on top of the lego stage and then it was like all right now i can have like vmas and stuff wow <laughs> you were you were deep with it yeah i like yeah, that yeah. were you the only child no i had okay. a sister but you know she was into other stuff yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you were the only child if you got a sister don't, don't worry about her um <laughs> yeah it was, trust me it was, it's like step like above, I play the Spice pick. Girls video game a bunch, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen games, you know, Sabrina the mm-hmm. Teenage Witch for the Game Boy. You know, well versed in all that. I didn't know it was something wrong with, with liking Mary Kay and Ashley until I started until I started seeing them smoking cigarettes. Then I was like, wait, these bitches is twisted. <laughs> <laughs> I know some Mary Kay and Ashley songs. Like we, we yeah. I know some Raymond Simone songs, I ain't even gonna lie to you. My generation, we all care about the other new. G- Is that a American Nasty song? That's Raven, I think. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you, you just didn't say it with no energy. You was like, my generation. Right, right. No, you, no, you gotta be like, my generation. Go, go. That was her little vibe. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? That's what little girls are made of. Remember that? I was like, oh man, she's so fucking fine to me. Ooh, I'll take her to the arcade. <laughs> Play Mortal Kombat where I, I was. I would take her on a kid day. Her and Topanga. <laughs> a kid day, especially when she got off Mr. Cooper. Mm. It's a wrap. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh man, is this it? Oh, it's friends. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> She was on her crisscross. She was on her Queen Latifah. Yeah. It's like, that, at, in this time, they didn't know how to make kids rap about kids stuff. So she's rapping about a lot of heavy shit right she here. She's rapping about her whole generation. Her whole generation. It's Live. like Raven. Like, the millennials ain't even born yet. You talking about the millennials and they're not even he- They're not all here yet. And and, 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 and they definitely, I, I didn't understand like why she was rapping so hard. I'm like, what is going on? Like... <laughs> Are you going to do a remix with Onyx? Right, Goddamn, right, huh? right. <laughs> you used to mispronounce Huxtable and it was cute. You don't have to go this hard. Yeah, she's going too hard. The boys are just like, at the playground. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're like, my generation. <laughs> <laughs> we care about each other. <laughs> it's like, yo, Raven, you are killing the movie right now. Read the fucking room. We are at this an eight year old. This is coming on Fox Kids. We're at an eight year old birthday party right now. The DJ is spinning this. We're all confused. No one knows how to dance to this. There's no musical chairs to this. It's Spider Man, this video, and then X Men. Chill out, man. Yeah, no, seriously. Like, there's a fucking. Do you remember the countdown to Darkwing Duck when to when it was coming out? No. Oh my god, bro. How old? Well, I don't say I'm. I'm older than you. I know I am. Um, are you? Yeah, I was, yeah, I died for a few years, so that kind of stepped me back a little okay, bit. Okay, okay. I died on the inside. Okay. I worked at Best Buy and Circuit City at the same time. I just, I got you. Don't even remember. I I was I was born uh, the the year that uh, Bobby Brown "Don't Be Cruel" came out. Mm. You don't okay. have to put years into numbers. You don't. You don't. You don't. No, I was born the year ET came out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So man. Yeah. 
that that yeah, year, there's yeah. a lot of people, mm-hmm. movers and shakers. There's something special about that something time. Something special about that time. And yeah. I've read some conspiracies that say that a lot of old souls were born in that early to mid-80s point and up into the 90s. Like ninety one, ninety two era, mm-hmm, like a mm-hmm. lot of old souls came back to kind of make shit right, and we're fucking killing it. Like iPhones, and you know, I haven't seen a typewriter in years. <laughs> I mean, we did that. We did that. I mean, I don't know if y'all did that, but y'all, y'all were there. F- y'all got it. Mm-mm. Like somebody else did it. We did it. We did it. Y'all, y'all didn't do it. We did. I guess y'all got the typewriter out of here. Mm-hmm. Options were were had, and then y'all were like, "We're taking this." Well, what was it? The word processor. Yeah, yeah. Remember that word processors. Mm-hmm. Um. After that, what was it? Computers. Computers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We did that. We did that. But y'all, I mean, y'all was in school, and and they didn't have computers while y'all was in school. And then, like, you know, later in school, they did have computers. But like when you started, it wasn't even a it wasn't even a thing. They still had wood shop when I was in school. They had wood shop. We used to make bird houses and lamps and shit. Man, I don't think they would let saws in our school. Bro, I was working with heavy machinery. Like I was fucking forty two years old, just like glasses on at the sander. Like, I think my school probably got rid of wood shop when Class Act came out. I mm-hmm. think that was like, all right, people are gonna think they could just come in here. Slide people on on the table, you know what I'm saying, interrogate them. Mm-hmm. We gotta get rid of wood shop in, in you know, urban areas. And it, it's really sad. Our wood shop was just it wasn't even guarded. Now that I think about it, I could have killed so many kids. <laughs> <laughs> very, very very dangerous. Yeah. See, yeah, we had computer labs. They they took all the wood shop out and gave us the internet so we could watch blastro.com. I thought I saw my sandwich move. Okay, but you got to hold it still if you want to see it moving. It's probably better to put it on the table. Right, I know, but I was moving. looking at that one spot. Now, if it doesn't move, it could be because that is just regular food, but also that it has eyes and it knows that I'm looking at it and it's like we're at a game of chicken. I need it to sneeze or do something, you know what I'm saying? But you got chicken. Right, I want a steak. And that's so you're playing chicken with chicken, you might lose. Well, <laughs> I, I've never seen you lose. I've never seen CP d- not do something. You come over, you play Madden, mm-hmm. you go crazy. I'll tell you something. I'll beat on the, stage, you go I, crazy. I beat the shit in the this TV sandwich. screen. I'm you're going good. crazy. Thank you, man. I you know what I'm saying? If somebody told me, you know, CP dunked from the foul line, I'd believe it. I'd be like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Were, were there people there? Mm-hmm. I don't think he's doing that without people watching. You gotta, you gotta ask how low was the rim. I don't. I don't. No, I'm saying, I don't. I, I personally am not asking how low is the rim. I'm because, asking how high was the rim. Yeah. I'm looking at it the other way. Do you know the high can be lowness? High can be lowness. Yeah. So it's like you know, you asking how high was the rim means that you know that it probably wasn't standard. Yeah, I don't think. It, uh, yeah, I don't think it's standard. I'm See, thinking. And, uh, and, uh, and, and 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 those are you know, it's like when I was a kid, I used to use the the, the urinal that was short to the floor. As I got older, okay. as I got older, because I couldn't use it when I was a kid, because my dad was like, why are you resting your dick on the urinal? You're not supposed to do that. I was like, oh, I thought it was here for <laughs> some Bluetooth pissing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hands free. So I had You know to... how wild something has to be for the parent to ask why? Well, <laughs> it, it went from don't do that to, wait, what? I need to know well, why. It, he immediately began to count how many urinals he didn't see me pissing. <laughs> <laughs> and realized, like, oh, shit, wait a minute. I've, I've been missing this. <laughs> like, son, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? I'm like, well, this is what you do. You let it relax. He was like, no. <laughs> you let it chill. Do you remember back in the day going to the uh, basketball games or football games and in the men's bathroom they had that long-ass tub and all the guys would just stand there with their dicks out and just piss in that long-ass tub of ice? Yeah, yeah. I didn't like that, bro, and I don't understand why we didn't get rid of that sooner than what we did. Fulton County Stadium, the Olympics had to come to Atlanta for us to get rid of that. Wow. They were like, all right. It's it's penises from all over the world coming yep. to the city. Yep. Let's tear this Ooh. place down. Can you imagine? <laughs> you down there and you look over, you see a Dutch dick. 
Like, oh, hey, mate. Like, what's up? <laughs> that, was, that was an Australian That's accent. why they built Turner Field. That's exactly why they built Turner Field. Mm. And now Georgia State plays football there. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. I've been there. My homeboy graduated in Turner Field. It was nuts. And then we parked where F- Fulton County was, where Dion played and where Hank Aaron broke the record. Mm-hmm. It's a parking lot now. Mm-hmm. I shot a pilot there. At Turner Field? Mm-hmm. What was the pilot for? If You, you, you can look it up. Oh, uh, see, uh, that's the one rule of this podcast. We don't look anything up. Oh, I mean, I'm just, okay. All right, We why? just use what's in our heads, what's in our brains. You know what I'm saying? I believe you. You just looked up the Raven, the Raven video. Okay. Um, I mean, right. I, I, I do play music from time to time, but I'm not like, you know, I'm not going like three different tries. It if was I nail video. it, I nail it. It was a video. Okay. So here's the thing. <laughs> Because I knew it wasn't streamable because I've tried to stream it before mm-hmm. and certain things are missing. Mm-hmm. That Raven Simone song, Lil Romeo's first album, are missing from the streamers. Yeah, and Crazy Bones' first double album called Thug Mentality. I don't understand why it's not on. Uh, it's not. And I love that song. I'm There's not, I people love the that assume that everything's streaming mm-hmm. and it's not. That's why I like going to vintage like record stores, music stores, and hunting for things that are not streaming. Okay, so look. My pilot was called Old Buzz A and U Football Weekly. It was on Adult Swim. They picked it up as a special so that they can actually run it. It comes on TV probably like twice a month, four o'clock in the morning. It's crazy. Dope. I play a white sixty five year old billionaire named Bud. And Are you in white face or is it just like I'm in full white face prosthetics. It took about twelve hours for the makeup. Prosthetics. Prosthetics. New chin. So they change face, new chin, new facial nose. shape. Yeah, new chin, new nose. Um, I was so white that when I used to go piss, I would scare myself. Like, what the fuck am I doing with this black dick? <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing with this? <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I also played a, a, a 50-year-old ex-lineman, now a lineman coach. Okay. Big, fat black dude. Prostate, I mean, Pro, like fat suit? Prosthetics, fat suit, prosthetics. Can everything. you still say fat suit? Mm-hmm. Is, is it big suit now? Nah, I think a big suit is like a Steve Harvey suit. And I still think that. <laughs> That's preventing us to be more progressive when it comes to fat suit. We would call it a big suit, but the kings of comedy did happen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, you could call it unhealthy suit. You could call yeah. it a, a diabetes suit. You could call it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You feel me? But um, yeah. what's that like? Hot, and hot. Then, and then to do it in Georgia is crazy. Mm. And it was like October, and it was just—it was supposed to be cool, but it was hot, bro. Plus, you're like a football coach, so you also got on like some kind of sweat, right? Well, switch, Bud, switch situation. Bud had on some high thigh shorts, and they had my legs all white, but in you know in the polo, so they could really sell the whiteness. Yeah. And it was done really good. It wasn't done like cheesy, like just white paint on my face. No, like they painted like a like a like a like a, like a flesh blood tone, and then painted the white over it so that you could see like the the flesh. Like they made mm. it like for real. It was not a joke. Um, I looked like Morris Day in the time or something like that. You know okay, um, the whole band. Well, no, just Morris, <laughs> and then. Um, <laughs> You know, uh, yeah. So we did that at Georgia, Georgia State, and and like you said, there's a football field, and you go back behind this other spot, and you're walking in the parking lot. And you can still see the baseball, like mm-hmm. pieces mm-hmm. of the diamond. Mm-hmm. Um, That's yeah. wild. I gotta yeah. check that out. Yeah, yeah. It's called Old Buzz, O L E, uh, Buds, B U D, apostrophe S, A N U, which stands for Alabama National University. Okay. Football Weekly. So what the show was about is that here I am. I was an SEC coach, SEC coach in from Alabama, living in the shadows of the big roll tide, mm-hmm. some no-name school mm-hmm. called Alabama National. And um, it's like a, uh, a, 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 a a private school, like a Notre Dame. Okay. Right. And so, but it's like a Baptist private school. And this guy is a, such a fan of the team that he bought the school so he could run the team like Jerry Jones. Mm. And so um, my motivation for it was like a mixture of Jerry Jones and Steve Spurrier. 
okay for like the voices and the tone and the kind of you know mannerisms and stuff like that and uh yeah it's a fucking classic it's like one of my um one of my favorite pieces of work that shows the range Mm -hmm. because you know the show is like his coach's corners you know how like coaches have like that um public broadcast show it might be only shows on campus or you know and it's like the coach for that football team he's like got his little call-in show and you can Mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. he's talking about the players and what's going on and you know it's it's like a um extended style interview almost but it's really just his little corner so that's what the show is but on the show i would have bud and charlie which is his name charlie thunder like how you and i are sitting here talking yeah i would be talking to like a tennis ball and then go do the makeup, and then later that night come back and talk to the tennis ball from the other person. That's crazy. And I've always wanted to do that because Eddie did that in the clumps mm-hmm. and in Nutty mm-hmm. Professor. So it was like, you know, it was one of those things where it's like, um, you know, you just it's, I'm just trying to... I'm really out here crossing shit off my bucket list. And people think I'm moving so fast, but I'm just doing shit that I want to do. Man, come on. <laughs> You That's hard. I gotta watch this. Yeah, you. Really, I didn't even know you, you was in the prosthetic. You would really enjoy. Yeah, it, because, I went to a big school. I'm from yeah, the south. I know yeah. the, the football side of things, but and, also, and you're smart, man, and you get what I'm doing. And you know, like, um, you know, this was Turner that you know, because Adult Swim is under Turner, mm-hmm. and so like, you know, a lot of football buffs, a lot of Georgia um, football, buffs, like, like they were taking me to Georgia games. Just so we could, like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I went to a Georgia Who'd game. Who'd you I, see? Uh, I saw, uh, okay, so first of all, I saw Ghost from Power. They he, they brought him back to do, like, a big. Um, a Georgia like, running back. Yeah. Amari Harwood. Yep. Then um, I saw, uh, you know, I was there. I like that you called with Ghost from Power. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is, uh, <laughs> look, check this out. The game I went to, they were playing Missouri. The quarterback from Missouri was. Um, Just Drew. entered the SEC, Missouri. Yeah. 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 The, the quarterback was Drew Locke. Okay. And he was. One of the best quarterbacks I've ever seen. Mm. Um, the quarterback for um, it wasn't Justin Fields because he was gone at this point. It was a uh, damn it. Um, because who was the quarterback when y'all had Nick Chubb? Uh, was it Jake Fromm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was yeah. Jake Fromm. So it was Jake Fromm. I saw uh, Miko Hartman out there. Okay. I saw um, I saw Nick Chubb. Right, Gurley had just left. Mm. So this is when Gurley left. Um. Uh, but yeah, like just kind of got into the culture a little bit. Um, you know, that was Kirby Smart's second or third year. Uh, I just was, you know, in it at the tailgate, listening to people talk about Kirby and how optimistic they were. And then now to look back and they got some championships and they got, yeah. you know, saying a program running full steam. It's dope to see. And uh, yeah, it just I was I was like engulfed in that world. That's fire. Yeah. I had no clue. I'm, yo, I'm so glad. Yeah, 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 man. I didn't even know. I think I think you you would really work. really enjoy man. it, bro. You would really enjoy it. And man. Adults, I might have been in the city at that time. Were you were you hitting the streets? Were you like were you able to get out and do some stand up? I did do some stand up. I, I did a couple of shows with uh, Ronnie Jordan. Because um, I heard about you before I met you. Really? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. That's no, crazy. I heard. I heard in like. And then you're so funny off stage, yeah. That you know what I'm saying. Yeah. It's like normally that guy. There's certain archetypes in comedy, and normally yeah. the guy that's as funny as you off stage is it's, it's, hot garbage yeah. when they get on stage because yeah. yeah, yeah. I think I found a way to monetize the things that I think are funny, and I say monetize because that's just the the be able to be able to outwardly express it. Like I think that um, two things when I do comedy, I speak from I almost talk like I'm in the crowd. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I imagine me being right next to the audience. Like, yo, know, people are like, you know, and, and it's like, that's like the kind of, instead of being like, hey, everybody, it's me. Um, and then I set up stories just like I play with action figures. Like, I tell you who this person is, who that person is, who that person is. Once you know their names, I'm like, all right, bet. You da 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 And you da 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 and da and da da And it's like, that's how, yeah. that's how I set it up. And it's like, people... Oh, that's so true. People really, really fuck with that because it's like, we have a predisposition to imaginative play like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like... And like a movie, you know how to set it up mm-hmm. in, in, a, in a realistic context and then, you know, raise the stakes and... and 
people are on the edge of their seats, but yep. it's a scenario they watch you totally set up and create. Peep this. You have to, when you're imagining stuff, you have to have um, a glue point. That's what I call it. And the glue point is something that's rooted in a reality that we all can understand so that we know the rules without having to say them. For example, the Ninja Turtles were in New York. Mm -hmm. It's a real New York. Right, like it's the sewer system of New York. So now mm. we understand New York. We understand what kind of crime element. We understand how big of a territory they have, and we can now we imagine in these big ass turtles in a place like New York. What happens is people try to go too far into their imagination, and they don't have a glue point. There's nothing that your audience can 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 kind of tie and wrap their heads around the rules. Once you do that. Now your audience is like, okay, we get how he thinks and we get where he's going with it. The breastfeeding joke that I have, right? Yeah. I set it up explaining to you the covenant that women have around how they protect women who are breastfeeding. And it's not just women, it's females in general. You look at elephants, you know, everybody crowds around the mom and protects that mom who's new, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. There's a there's across the board sympathy because either you are a mom and you've gone through that or you know that as a woman, you're going to have to go through that if you choose to create a family. Mm -hmm. And so there's always like a little bit of like, like, you better go, girl, in how they deal with each other, right? Yeah. And so when I flip it, I make sure that the person who I become understands all of those things and I'm acting like it. So yeah. it's like, you're in trouble and you're going to be, and you, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. all those things... They can't help but laugh because it's like, fuck, he's painted exactly what the picture is. And, and, and I know that I know it. So if you don't want to laugh, that's fine. But you know that you know what I'm saying. Whether you want to, yeah. you know, like, you know what I, you, you know, you get it. But in order to do that, the audience has to trust each and every, you know, like, like every time you're setting, you're making this very complex thing sound very easy. You know what I'm saying, but right. it's it's really complex because the audience is hanging on every word, and mm -hmm. they don't they don't care about you trying to build something. Mm -hmm. They want the joke, and so you being able to figure out how to even set that up and and build it while keeping them entertained to get that payoff. Yeah, if I had special, to, it's special. If I had to equate it to a basketball player, I would say that I want my style to be like a Kyrie. Like Irving, all right, Kyrie Irving. Like you know, because it's like, <laughs> like who, 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 who's the other Kyrie? I don't, I don't know. I just, I like, I, I like, like over specifying. Like people like, be like Martin Luther King. I'd be like Junior. Be like, <laughs> yeah, I, I, I yeah. know a dude named Martin Luther King though. Yeah, I know a dude who was a Kappa. Shout out to my boy MLK, but he's a real. His, his, his name is Martin Luther King. I, I would not make this up. He's in Lansing alumni. Okay, his name is Martin Luther King. Yeah, uh, but anyway, um, people want to watch it. Malcolm X, he'd be like, I mean, it's cool, but, you know. I know a nigga named Malcolm. You know, it you ain't know Selma, saying? but, you know. Man. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, nah, um, like, I have a joke where I ask people if they would want to be God's best friend. Simple. Would you want to be God's best friend? Mm. Like, like, okay, Rob, I'm going to ask you the question. I, I can do it on here. Would you want to be God's best friend? <laughs> That's tough. It's four That's billion tough. people in heaven. I say four, four billion because I say it's eight billion on earth. So let's split them in half. Four go to hell, four go to heaven. Right. Four billion people. Out of the four billion, you're his best friend. Like mm -hmm. his motherfucking homie. Mm-hmm. Right? Can you handle that? Probably not. Because God can confide in me, right? Right. And You like, don't have to confide in him because he already knows. But... If I, but that would see, but see, that's the thing. Cause if I confide in God, God's gonna be like, I gotta distance myself from this cat. No, nah, <laughs> he knows everything about you already. You're his favorite person. Now imagine this. Which means he knows I'm not telling him. He knows I'm not telling him. Right, but he knows. He's like, hey, that little shit you did, don't you worry about that. Listen, imagine this. Imagine, because, because here's the thing God needs you more than you need him at this point. You've already made it to heaven. You don't got to do shit. You, you can be like, God, get the fuck out with me. I'm, I'm running around. I'm fucking bitches because you said we could do that up here. 17 at a time. I don't have to take no Viagra. I have wings. I'm flying. I'm dick dipping. I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? God needs a friend and it's you. 
Mm. And he's and 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 he could be himself. And it's after church, guy been preaching. And he like, hey, Rob, come to my office, man. Ooh, man. And he sit down at his desk, close that door. <clears throat> you close the door, he be like, whoo, it was some bitches in there tonight, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and you like, what? And he like, man, I'm just saying, you know, I, <laughs> I know I make them, you know, but, uh, you, know, I, you know, I just, I, I could tell uh, that uh, some of these women didn't enhance themselves. Some of these women be showing up here with titties I never even seen before. <laughs> and I like that. Anyway, he, he, he started talking to you. What's up with you and Lisa? She like you, man. You bullshit. <laughs> you be like, man, she ain't. Look at me, man. I made the bitch. She likes you. Stop playing. <laughs> I'm going to hit her up. <laughs> wait, no, no, wait. <laughs> wait. You're his best friend. Wait, no. You're not going to tell, are you? No. I mean, ah! I guess he made that. Ah! I guess he Woo! made that. You want some angel dust? No, I'm, I'm good. Okay. Angel right. dust. <laughs> 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 ah. <sighs> what you about to do? <laughs> Chillin? Chillin? Shit. Here, uh, I got to answer some prayers. Uh, just don't say shit. Mm. Hello, my child. <laughs> uh-huh. Hey, you want to win the lottery. Really? 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 You got two legs, two hands, two feet. You have everything you need, but you want to win the lottery. You know what? You need some pain and suffering. Give me two months of that. Hang up the phone. I can't stand that motherfucker. She don't even know it takes two to make a thing go <laughs> right. <eat. laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> it takes two to make it out of sight. Well, you say you trying to get you trying to get on this Andrew? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> right? So then you like, guy, I'm about to go. I got a little money to go holler at least. All right, cool, cool, cool. Hey, you got uh you got twenty dollars? <laughs> twenty dollars. I know you got twenty dollars. I right. know you have twenty dollars. Uh, Look at me, right, my God. son. I know you got twenty dollars. Stop playing, boy. Right, this is the last you time. Man. Now who you gonna tell? Who 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 do you confide in? You walk around heaven with this tea? <laughs> with this level of tea? What do you do? People, 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 you know, like, man, I ain't seen God. God been acting crazy. And I'd be like, you just trying to hold it in. And he's like, hey, you know who got a drug problem? <laughs> <laughs> you probably can only tell Satan because, you know, they, they used to be best friends. You know, and Satan that's only, the last person you could nah, tell. Satan, the only you got, one. You could tell Michael before you tell Satan. You, 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 you better not tell Jesus. Oh, my God, that, that would crush him. They don't have that kind of relationship <laughs> where they're like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's his, that's his dad. Like, you, you tell me, like, dude, like, your pops owe me, like, $600, Jesus. And he's like, what? Are you serious? That's how a, that's a Jesus talks. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> should, we, should we pray for him? Pray to who, Jesus? Who are you going to pray to? Oh, you're right. He gets all the prayers. Man. <laughs> I'm going to go talk to him. Jesus, you can't say shit, bro. He told me. Yeah, he didn't tell you. Right, but you know, I'm Jesus. Real talk, I beat your ass if you go tell something. And then, and then that was a big issue. Jesus can fight; he'll fuck you up. But you, you just right. gotta say that, right? Jesus got nailed to a cross. You think he gonna let you punk him? No. And you know how fast them slaps come with a hole in your hand? <laughs> I never thought about that. I never Pah! thought about. Pah! Pah! You know, what I'm you can't you can't slap box with Jesus. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? I'm just saying, kickbox anything. If those kicks coming fast. Pow, pow. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like everything, you know, heaven is heaven is heaven. You understand that God has a reputation and mm -hmm. an image to uphold. You understand why He would only be able to confide in one person. You also understand, you know, why it wouldn't be Jesus. Right. No, I get yeah. Yeah, because Jesus died for a lot of this bullshit, and then yeah. you'll bring him up and have you like, what are you doing? Mm hmm. You know, and then yeah, you can't do that. The rules, you already know the rules. It's fucked up, but you can imagine anything. Anything's possible as long as you got a glue point. It's heaven. Don DeMarco, hey, DeMarco, hey. that's what that sounds like. I, will, I I need that. Yeah, yeah. You need that, yeah. That's sweet. Kids, don't try that at home, okay? Don't go to church and try to be like, yo, I, I was listening to this podcast. Like, don't, don't, hey, don't try this at home, all right? This I is a trained professional I'm right a trained here. Professional. Don't go to your local open mic and be like, hey, all right, heaven. It's don't, it's it's a wrap. Don't just try to drive a motorcycle around inside a ball. I mean, you got you to know how to do you that. You got to know how to do that. We, we belong to the yeah. circus. You come see us. These elephants will fucking kill you. It is a circus. It is, man.
Mm-hmm. The best circus on earth, man. This is my favorite job I ever had, bro. Same. Yeah. It's my favorite job I ever had, man. I think it allows me to be me, and I can, you know, I can be high, and you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. um, And then I get to be on TV sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, you get to know cool people. Yeah. And really, this is where the nerds win. Mm. This is where the nerds win, bro. Like, the coolest comedian in history is probably Eddie Murphy, right? Like, just for having swag. But, like, yeah. even he was nerdy to a degree because his big brother was the gangster. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, Eddie, mm. wasn't, Eddie wasn't the gangster. Charlie was the gangster. And when you got a brother that's that cool, it's easy for you to kind of get left alone. Like, like, my dad was cool as fuck. The whole hood knew my dad. My dad was a legend. He lived in that hood since before I was born and then still yeah. lived there. And and so I didn't have to be tough growing up. I didn't, you know what I'm saying, because I knew tough people. It was like, I don't, I'm not that, so I don't even have to to try, yeah. right? But at the same time, being raised by tough people taught you how to talk tough because that's how you were taught too. So then what is tough exactly but a mindset? What is a mindset but a choice, mm. right? So then it's like, well, you know, you're, you know, and so what happens is, you know, to come into this genre of entertainment and this is where the thinkers are, right? And you yeah. have to you have to think some. <laughs> well everybody not thinking. Everybody but is thinking. It's everybody that, is thinking. They're not thinking, thinking about this. Everybody doesn't same have, thing. Yeah. Some people are Tesla. Yeah. Some people are Ford fucking Fiestas. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, like, right, they can't right, go that right. fast. They don't have a lot of city miles. Mm -hmm, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But they're thinking. Right, you know, um, that's true. That's true. Yeah, and and you know, and, and you know, because if you were a gangster, you would be somewhere doing crimes. This is not where the gangsters live. So don't I? I be laughing at gangster comedians like nigga, come on. Right, right, come on, bro. You, there was you, a whole air where that ain't gangster was a punchline. Yeah, and it was like it assumes that the whole audience is full of gangsters, and you know, statistically, that's impossible. It's like dog. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Like, if you were Spider Man, would you be working at a newspaper place? No, I would be. I would have like a boxing gym that like I train people, but they never know why they can't fight as good as me. You know what I'm saying? I got bit by a spider. You didn't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh like, man. Peter Parker can have a way cooler job than that bullshit he does. Right. He should be Billy Blankson out here. He should be a fucking cop. No. What? No. Bro, listen, the only reason he's working at the newspaper is so he knows what the press knows about Spider-Man. Yeah. But the press is trying to close in on Spider-Man because the authorities are looking for him. Right. Bro, he would be the best cop. No. Why would he not be? First of all, when you're a cop, you got them heavy boots on. I don't know if you could really just spider powers. Already going through the shoes already bugged me. But it was like he made the shoes. You know what I'm saying? Now you got some cop boots on. I'm I'm getting confused with the logic. No, bro. What I'm saying is like Peter Parker, not Spider Man. Peter Parker, should yeah, be a police officer. Peter Parker always had shoes and other bullshit on. He wasn't just running around on buildings. He had to run and change. Mm hmm. Right. Like, uh, I'm just saying, like, or Spider Man could sell dope. But he doesn't want to do that. He don't got the stomach for that. He's bulletproof, ain't he? I mean, yeah, I don't know. I, I just said some stuff that, that I heard in the Superfly. I don't know. He, try, <laughs> Superfly. he tried wrestling. He was a wrestler for a minute. He was a wrestler. And it's like, bro, like, you're just not, like, you, he could have did that and been killing him. Right. You could have really, you know what I'm saying, helped Aunt put May it like out. This. Put it like this. Like, you, like, you really could have put, you know what I'm yeah. saying, yeah, put yourself in a better situation. He would have went to the WWE eventually because he would have been that good and that small. Rey Mysterio would have been out of business. Right, but they go on tour, and some of them towns they go in don't have a lot of buildings. So now what is he doing, swinging mm. on the Wendy's? You know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't, that ain't as fun. You know, you got to go all throughout the country. He got to stay in New York. He kind of, a, he kind of like... I. If they don't got the train, I really can't. I really can't be rocking yeah, with. Yeah, but it's like, come on, bro. He need a Spider Mobile or he needs something. Like you know, Tony Stark, bro. You could get right. something that can. If he was in the WWE, he could afford a car. He could get a whip, Spider Whip. He knows science. He could. Can make, I tell you make this? Fire. Imagine The Rock starts fighting crime. Nobody's gonna blink an eye. They no. were like, oh my god. Oh, okay. Oh. Woo, the Rock got his ass. God damn, I thought he was about to shoot them kids, but The Rock got him. We'd mm -hmm. be like, good, good job, Rock. And Rock be like, 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And we want things shit of it. He could have did that, bro, and then not have to hide himself so much. Mm. Just Peter Parker strong as fuck. Everybody know Peter Parker strong as fuck. Yeah. Peter, Peter Parker strong. He can, he can swing. Ah, Peter Parker. I wish I would put on a mask and go do all this good comedy as uh uh you know. Roach man, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Roach like, man. what the fuck? I love Roach man. Move, CP. get the fuck out the way. Roach man was here. <laughs> I, you know that that's what bothers me about Batman as I get older because it is like, dude, you could help the community with your days. You spend your days in an ice bath because you out at night beating up criminals. You could hire like fifty Batman. You could train and hire a whole force of, of Batman. To I never even thought city. about that. And if they saw the Batmobiles out patrolling the streets, they, you know, because how police do, they just, yeah. their, their presence, they look like killer whales. These police in LA, they look like killer whales just through the streets, just like black and white. Oh, yeah. And it's like, you, you know, like, oh, shit. They go to Orcas. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you know better. It's like, dog, yeah. He's, Batman wants there to be crime because he wants to whoop somebody's ass. That's what he wants to do. So he literally like, hey, ain't no crime fighter here except me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, feel me? It's like, yeah. bro, he could definitely like do a press conference. Like, look, so everybody, just so y'all know, we fucking y'all up. We not playing. Me and the Batman. Mm-hmm. Right? Raz Ghul trained me. I trained them. You're right. Now, now Batman don't have any, don't have HR, don't have any parameters on what's appropriate, what's not appropriate. He's a Vicky shiner. Vicky Bell, wake up in the bed. You know what I'm saying? camera missing we mm. don't know what happened we just know vicky vale woke up in the bed you know what i'm saying that's all we know <sighs> batmobile got one seat you didn't even think about picking up nobody you was never gonna pick up anybody you wasn't gonna arrest anybody you just gonna tie him up and just pray for the best because mm -hmm. he's like if they get loose i get to chase him again right yeah he and he and that big ass go-kart mm-hmm mm-hmm he right you're right. And they don't even get me started on Superman. Like, you 400 years old and you couldn't even do shit about slavery? He's 400 years old. Oh, yeah. Superman's 400. Because, well, he's 30, right? But the planet that they have, he's 400. Krypton. He's 400. So you saying it took, like, 400 years from him to get the Krypton to here? I, well... Yeah, I guess you got a point there. But he could at least make them speed up the reparations talk. Or what if he had, well, no, nah, yeah, okay. He could put some pressure on the government. He could he could fly in yeah. there and fly somebody real high up and be like, look, what you going to do? And they'd be like, woo. <sighs> they're looking down, and it's like, the earth is like, what you going to do? You going to pay him? Like, yeah, we'll pay him. And then he just bring him down gently. He's going to pay everybody. Ah, we got everybody. Everybody's going to ask him that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Superman ain't never do that. Superman never pull up to no Senate hearing mm. where they vote in and be like, hey, hey, you know. I need somebody to pull up a reel of Superman saving black people because I'm going to tell you what I think. I don't think he fuck with black people like that. Superman might be racist, bro. Spider-Man fuck with black people. But Spider-Man grew up in New York. Superman grew up in Smallville. Right, but it's like that's not our fault, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> bro, bro. So then just call it what it is. Call yourself super white man. Super white man. Super white man. That's what he needs to be called. And it's, it's, I, I would be mm. like, oh, I get it. Super white man. That's crazy. White powers. You didn't think about that, did you? I didn't think about that at all. I do. I did like when they were talking about Michael B. Jordan possibly being Superman. I did like that. And I was hoping that he still landed in Smallville and was raised by a white family. So then it just puts all this pressure on... Uh, Clark Kent's dad, you know, because everybody in the neighborhood is looking like, man, where this black baby come from? You know what I'm saying? And his mom, like his whole his whole family is going through a lot because he, they got to raise this man. black baby. And then like the black baby, like killing that football so much that they're like, yo, you can't play football. But everyone there assumes he plays football because he's the only black kid in Smallville. He would get so much pussy, dog. <laughs> Like, you talk about one student who I know for a fact is going to be fucking teachers. Is, hey, man. <laughs> is Superman the teenager. He is he is plowing the <laughs> teachers. Now they're like, you want it, A, eh? Mr. Super? Meet me in the sky. They're like, all right, come on, Miss Johnson. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
fly out to the moon. Bring it back uh, down. Her hair be fucked up. <laughs> Welcome to my third hour class. <laughs> <laughs> Just went to the fucking moon. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking about how, what I would do. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. I think I'd be like, you know what I'm saying? I would people, definitely people, figure out how to like, Why I don't understand why they don't run track and try to make track lit. It's like, okay, I get, I can't play a contact sport mm-hmm. because somebody will hurt themselves, you know. But Robbie's faster than the speed of a bullet, which means that like, by the time they shoot the gun to say go, he back. <laughs> You're right. And so, I mean, it just that that, that just wouldn't be just gotta fair. be in front of the next the the fastest guy. I'm just scared. He just that. always got to win his heat. If I was, if I was, if, well, yeah, because he would just run straight through. If he was doing a relay, he would run straight through his partner and then <laughs> kill him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think melt that the baton. I just what scares me about the possibility of me possibly being Superman one day mm-hmm. is that people would die because. I would be too busy, like, sending super dick pics and, like, doing all kind of crazy shit. The best I could do is, is, if, is if I'm getting some pussy at Superman, <laughs> I would take my laser eye and just shoot straight through a neighborhood to go kick the people. And I might kill people that way. If I was Superman, I'd have an off season. I'd be like, hey, man, this is a contract year. You know what I'm saying? I you know in the summer that's my time, I you know like like hey y'all y'all gotta hold it down y'all had existed before me well, don't they, act like there wasn't some kind of order here before me you know what I'm saying like don't don't act like I I'll help truth justice the American way fall winter spring summertime that that's me you ain't gonna run no deals like on black friday i go out and kill all the criminals <laughs> i could you know what i'm saying like you know what i'm saying like black yeah. but see the, the thing about superman is he don't make an example out of niggas like i would take somebody's head and boom splat him and look at the rest of the criminals are like go to church oh that no no the the og superman like like the old comics it was it was violent like he yeah. was like he he was it was that it but was that's that. what they, it they to made be. him tone it down because, because they were like this is for kids i feel like Superman has not made himself clear enough. It should be way less crime, right? He is not smashing people's heads. He's not Homelander. No. Like, Homelander, bro, like, the only crime on the boys is the boys. Ain't nobody else fucking around. Yeah. It's only people who have got V in them that are fucked up. Everybody else is like, I'm not even trying to look at these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, Everybody got mm -hmm, a job on the mm -hmm. boys. Criminals are just, like, make that... Bruh, it's like that. That's what I. Cause if, if I was Superman, bro, and I was on a date, and then somebody calls this man, we need you, and I'm like, fuck, I would be mad as hell when I got there, and I don't care. I'm punching everybody with one punch, and I'm gonna make a big ass shish kebab of everybody's head on my arm as I go back around, and then I'm gonna you put can't all those murder up. all these people and be Shit. Superman. Who's gonna stop me? And what jail is you gonna sound keep like me? you want to be like Zerg or something? Well, guess what. Welcome to the fat zerger. You know what I'm <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, bro. I'm, I mean, bro, we're talking about I'm killing criminals if I'm Superman. I don't have the willpower to, like, just thump them and then wait for the police to come and they just be knocked out off the thump. No, I'm fucking punching their jaws off. And they're going to be like, okay, but then what, if, <laughs> what when somebody pull out the kryptonite, you know what I'm saying? Like, you going to make them have kryptonite mace. You going to make them, like, like bro, step up and put bro, kryptonite and all kind of stuff. You better not miss. If I duck that, <laughs> if I duck that mace, and I come up and punch your head through your ass, huh? You gonna have waves coming out your ass? You know what I'm saying? I mean, boom, waves, grease, Murray's, <laughs> <laughs> all of your motherfucking ass. You wanna play with me? And I'm on the news. <laughs> I'm be like, you know what? Press conference. I just pulled this motherfucking kryptonite mace off one of these people in the street. Let me tell you this. If I catch y'all with some of this motherfucking mace, people going to be like, man, hey, don't, hey, don't give me the mace. I don't need no mace, man. I'm good. Man, please. I would be, they would have to, I'm going to be the president in two years if I'm Superman. Okay. I'm going to just show up on November, whatever, when they inaugurating them. Mm-hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm just laying like, inaugurate me, bitch. I put my hand on the Bible like, I hereby solemnly swear 
to fuck everybody up. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what? It wouldn't be no re-election. But you know what? I just realized something. I'm a villain. Right. Right. I'm a no, villain. No, no. I'm you, a villain. That's very... That's Even how you landed was villain-esque. You know what I'm saying? You landed like Magneto, but yeah, you're super exactly bad. Yeah, land. Yeah. yeah. Well, how am I supposed to land? Like, on my... On my no, yeah, that. yeah. Uh, you got to land like man, yeah, in yeah, the three-point stance. Nope, nope. Just in case something pop off right when you land. Do you know how many kids I would have <laughs> out here? Super kids going crazy in the NBA, in the NFL, playing soccer. Bro. Like Duncan. There's no paternity denial if you're Superman. Who needs to deny it? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Yes, my son lays with the doctor's heads off. I told them to do the C-section because he was still asleep. I could have caught him sleep. Oh man! Guess I'm a villain, man. <laughs> you got to know yourself. I know myself. Yeah, I, yeah. You knew you were a villain. I, I didn't know till now, but I want to crush them. <laughs> 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 I didn't know until now, but it feels right to crush them. <laughs> CP, thanks for coming on the pod, man. Anything you want to tell the people? Any any last words you got? Um, yeah, man. You guys can follow me on everything at comedian CP. Um, um, I don't, I don't. Oh, my special Sunday after six. It's my first special, man. I'm very excited about it, man. Um, shot it in Atlanta. Shot it in Atlanta. Yeah. Heck yeah. It, it, um, it looks great, man. I'm excited for, for people to see it. It's coming out later this year or early 2024. Um, we are uh, shopping it right now. Uh, I shot it independently with 800 Pound Gorilla. Um, and uh, yeah, man, shout out to just not waiting. You know, I'm on tour right now. The CP was here tour. The flyers have been hilarious. The flyers have yeah. been incredible. Thank you. They're, they're uh, custom made for every city. Mm-hmm. That yeah, and you know uh, I'm I'm just becoming very very much intentional with what I do with my career, right? So like this tour is called CP was here. It has like a alien abduction theme to it. Okay, and then uh, the next tour which starts in January is called the Dark Side of the Moon, and so the merch is all matching. So like on this merch on this. A tour announcement there's a moon and so the next tour takes place on that moon and then it'll be new merch from that perspective um these sounds are scaring me and so um yeah uh dark side of the moon is a winter tour the winter like solstice tour okay and um so i'm going to like you know like the dark places like like vegas and you know what I'm saying? Like, you mm. know, like it's, it's like a different feel to this tour. And um, are you talking about the moon at all? No, but there's a story being told, like an overarching story of a young black man in space. Um, like a young astronaut. I'm going to drop a comic book about it, but it's going to have all the, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, it's just, it's just, it's just something, it's just about being abstract with the art and portraying it in a different way a fun way that people can um just enjoy like oh, that's different that's that's different for you to you know because like my podcast deals a lot with conspiracies and mm-hmm. you know cool stuff like that and so i figure like um that's what i like man I, I, I gotta be honest with myself that's what i that's what i deal with that's what i want to know about that's what i research that's what i look up you know conspiracies and aliens and this that and the third and um it's just it's just cool man to go to that spot in the room where nobody is at and put your flag down. You know mm, what I'm saying? Like, you know, mm. it's like claiming some space. I, you know, I want to be different. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I like what Kid Cudi did. Like, the moon has nothing to do with rap. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, but it's just a perspective that I think can be appreciated um, in different ways. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to do like the live from Jackson tour. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's just something different, something cool. Yeah. No, nah, that sounds that sounds amazing. Thank you, man. And so, okay, so the abduction and then the, oh man, yeah, man, yeah. that's crazy. And then it's gonna be live from the cockpit, right? Which is, <sighs> so let me show you this because I don't think you're not gonna understand until you see the visual. 
So like uh like this is this like, is, so the, you already know what the the next one after that one is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know the next four. So look. Look at this. Look at this, bro. So this is this is CP was here, right? Right. The next tour is on this moon. Okay. Right? And so No, wait, no, no. The, and then see this C right no, there. No, wait, no. No, it's no way. Live from the cockpit. So I'll be like in like a Starship Enterprise style control room, and like that's what the 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 art is gonna be, right? You know what I'm saying? Then we going back to the moon, right? All right, we going to light speed, and then I'm out of this whole this whole tour with with with, with the last thing. That's when like when I'm done with this whole theme, and it'll be something else when I when I get. You know? Oh man, it's getting crazy. Yeah, it's getting crazy. But I mean, it's just like, bro, like, I didn't know. I didn't know. We can just play with it and do I whatever didn't know. we want to do. I didn't know. Like, bro, like, just think. I'm man. almost like, can can we? Yeah. I don't know. Bro, I don't know if we bro, can. Look, I don't look, know if look. anybody else is allowed to play. Bro, after that, bro, after that, I don't, I don't, I don't want to play anymore. Bro, listen. To I don't want to play anymore. Listen to me. The, oh my God. The rules are yours, bro, and you can do whatever you want to do, and you can take it as far as you want to take it. And when right, you look but at, I didn't know I could do that. When you look at what Kanye <laughs> did, when you look at what the what the Beatles did, what Elvis did, oh, what man. Jimi Hendrix did, bro, it's about it's about taking it like to this next bigger than you style phase you yeah. know what I'm saying it's just like yo what's bigger than me like everything and you took the coolest thing you took space <laughs> I mean yeah, but... <laughs> that was gonna be like yeah I don't Rob on a Robin Hood tour, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be something like <laughs> Rob uh, on a Robin Hood tour is dope though. Yeah, you know what Wild what Wild West, yeah, as you know, no, everything bro. else is taken. I can't No man. Space man, it took space. I, I did though. I ain't gonna lie to you. I didn't even think about it like that. <laughs> Nah, but, it's mine. Planets, <laughs> moons, spaceships. I don't want to see y'all on none of it. Star bro, Trek. But you saw Star the Easter Wars. egg in there, right? How I had to zoom in and show you. Right. So, like, people have that on a shirt, and they don't know that on the dark side of the moon, they're going to get another shirt. Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? And so, this like, is so hard. And yeah, and so they're just going to keep getting the shirts, and it's like, oh, oh shit. Oh, man. Yeah, bro. All right. All you gotta right. Be, just, bro, why not? I, th- I was just a fan off of the jokes. I didn't know I was gonna become like, Man. like, yeah. I didn't know I was gonna become a super fan. What about start crying out my ears? Was that fuck you? Uh, <laughs> I was like, you making me cry, man. That is a bunch of water that start coming out. <laughs> you be like, what the fuck? I'm, like, I'm not from here. Like, <laughs> then I would be scared because you already revealed what right. you would do if you were an alien on man, this planet uh, with powers. People would get crushed, <laughs> but my friends would be thriving. Hey, if you want to get crushed. By CP in a humor sense. Please go see him on tour. Comedian CP. You are amazing. Come by the show anytime. Bro, you gotta come do my podcast too. I will, I will. It, it gets for fucking sure. weird over there. Yeah, let's okay, go. Cool. Let's get okay, weird. Cool, cool, cool. This has been the inconsistent podcast with Rob Hayes. Hey!